I'm Tony Doherty and welcome to another big week of Max's Muscle TV. We've got a fantastic episode in store for you tonight as tonight Freddie and Pete will be showing you what the top 10 items are on any serious bodybuilder's food shopping list and I'll be showing you a great training routine for anyone just starting in the gym. It's another show chock full of great information folks but first up it's time to check in with this week's featured athletes. IMBA champion Mark Hogan and Muscle Up Challenge winner John Dalinak will be taking you through a workout that's perfect for anyone trying to bulk up. My name's uh, Mark Hogan. Just recently competed in the, uh, the Victorian State IMBA titles uh, and took out the overall title there and then went through the nationals and won the Australian novice uh, at the IMBA Australian titles and then working toward universe. My name is John Delanek. I've been training for about 10 years now. Recently entered the uh, Max's 12 week muscle up challenge. Was lucky enough to take that out and won it. I'm here today to, to go through a simple routine. So I find putting on muscle is fairly hard for me to do. So I have to work with a lot of compound exercises, lift fairly heavy and keep the rep range sort of between the eight to 12 reps. I find I get best results from that. very lean naturally has been my body composition but again as John has said I'm working within probably an 8 to 12 rep range and really building on the foundational exercises that are squats and deadlifts and bench press to really put on the mass that combined with a good diet plan has worked for me and the diet plan that I've been following has really been based on whole foods uh, and obviously quality carbohydrate quality protein and, and your quality fats as well trying to eat clean all year round the basic breakfast of porridge lunch is sweet potato and your protein being chicken fish and steak Today's workout will be a, a, an all-over workout with six basic compound exercises that'll give your whole body a, a good workout. It'll give you strength in different areas that will also support and complement every other body part as well. So for example, by doing the squats and by doing the deadlifts, they're complementary in that a, a strong lower back will obviously support you in the squats. And same with the bench press. Being able to balance and having a strong chest will also balance out your back and, get, and help with your back exercises as well. So the rep range we'll be working within today is 8 to 12 rep range, which is a hypertrophy range, which means it's ideal for building muscle. Obviously, any less than that, you're sort of working more on strength because you're working with really heavy weights and more so power as well if you're doing it in explosive fashion. And if you're doing reps higher than 8 to 12, then you're sort of going into more of an endurance type, cardio type workout. And yeah, it's not ideal for building muscle, which is what we're about today. I think a big thing is keeping the, the muscle groups challenged in terms of guessing it. So changing your workout frequently helps to stimulate the growth. So this may be just a once a week routine, but then throughout the rest of the week, we'll isolate and do different isolation exercises for the different muscle groups. Yeah, so we're gonna be working with about three to four sets, but with the first set especially, you wanna be getting a higher rep range to really warm up the muscle and get the blood flowing and stimulate that blood flow. So maybe the first set we'll look at about 15 to 20 reps as a warm up, and then move into the working sets, which we're doing about eight to 12 reps. So the first one we'll be doing is squats, which is a, a fantastic all-over all workout basically. It obviously emphasises on the legs a lot, your, your glutes, your hammies and calves and, and lower back and all that sort of stuff, but a lot of stabilising muscles as well, keeping a, a heavy weight off the ground and you know squatting down and coming back up is, yeah, is a tough workout on the body. You always want to keep your back straight, your core nice and strong as well, so your TVA is switched on the whole time. And just, just going down to a point where your legs are parallel with the floor, you don't want to go too far down, you'll hurt your knees or don't have your knees tracking past your, your toes either because you can put a lot of stress on your knees, just keeping good form the whole exercise. So the second exercise we'll be doing today will be the bench press, obviously using a barbell as the traditional compound chest movement. And again, it'll be similar. We'll be doing a warm-up set to begin with, and then the following sets will be your working set. 
what we want to focus on here is obviously having good form. That is having your arms at right angles between your forearm and your upper arm, lowering it all the way down to get the full range of motion through to your chest and then extending all the way back up. So you're really working the full chest and the full range of movement. Moving from squats over to bench press, just moving on to another big muscle group. So there's no real science behind it, but it gives your legs a bit of a break. You start hitting your chest, your upper body, and then after that, yeah, you will move on to back and then legs again afterwards. So the compound movement, whilst it's primarily working your chest, there's also a lot of other stabilizers and muscle groups that are involved in that, being the shoulders, the tricep, your core strength as well. And being such a heavy movement with the bar coming down, it really is compounding that your chest is being worked and being fatigued quite extensively. So the third exercise we'll get into is seated rows. I'll be doing the wide grip rows, just to emphasise on lat workout, and Mark will be emphasising more so on close grip rows, which will again hit your rhomboids a bit more, your traps, and your, your overall back again. Generally with the rows, I like to do a close grip, really try and reach out and extend all the way through, so I'm, I'm hitting both the lower and, and the upper lat as well. I'll then switch to a wide grip when I'm doing chins to really try and bring out the width and the V at the top of my back and the top of my lats. Obviously, you do things that you prefer to do, different styles that work for you like not every exercise obviously works for everybody so yeah it's nice to mix it up but there's no reason why I wouldn't do close grip as well and obviously Mark do the same we can always alternate and it just makes it a bit more interesting. The next exercise will be the deadlifts, and again, it's another one of your basic three foundation compound movements. Since the um, squats, we've had two other exercises in between, so the legs have had a bit of time to rest, and now we shock them again by hitting them hard, and yeah, going into a, a deadlift, which is quite a taxing sort of exercise to do. The deadlifts will work, obviously, all over, being your back, your legs, to really try and work through and lift the weight. Now, we'll be doing two different variations. John will be doing the stiff leg, and I'll be doing the more traditional approach, bending at the knees. The stiff leg at I find hits a lot more of your hamstrings and your glutes. The bend at your knees also hits a little bit of your quads. They're both fantastic movements for hitting the legs. The final two exercises are dips and chin ups and we superset those just to finish off the routine within 40, 45 minutes because you don't really want to be training in the gym too long as well because you can go into overtraining and it's a good way just to keep the system a bit shocked again. I am a big fan of supersetting, but with a routine such as this where you're doing uh, really powerful and really heavy compound movements, it can be quite challenging to try and superset in between them. And that's not the goal. The goal in this one is to really maximise your lifts and try and maximise your strength gain. So the superset will save that to the end and then just finish off with trying to exhaust the muscle group at the end and trying to use all the energy that you've got left over in the last two or one exercise. So that, that was our hard gainers workout for today. Um, by the end of it, you should feel exhausted like we do. And hopefully down the track, you'll look something like this man here. Mark's looking amazing, so uh, yeah. <laughs> amazing. Well, good. Well done, mate. Nice <laughs> friendship. Well done. Thank you.